if this had been an NDC government and they had said E-Levy, how would you have reacted? Would you have embraced it? I think E-Levy is extremely important in the context of where we are as a local economy, as an African economy, as an international economy, post-COVID. Mm. COVID recovery gives us opportunity to restructure ourselves and make ourselves more competitive in the coming economy. We, the economy will never revert to normal. We have to do new things. Western economies are coming under pressure. We are, they are moving from negative interest rates to high inflationary interest rates. Mm. Inflation has hit 7%. It was in America, a 40-year high record. Yes, okay. I, I, but, but, but let's, mm. not, let, let's put well, it into no context. Good. Because, yeah. because mm. in the United States, that 7% high yeah. has nothing to do with COVID. You agree with me? It has to do with, no, I, I followed that story extensively. It has to do with food prices. It has to do with accommodation prices. Ah. It has to do with electricity prices. Exactly. And they are clear that, I mean, the, the impact of COVID is not fair really, really, It has nothing that, to do with COVID. That COVID had nothing to do with food prices it, rising not, worldwide. Not, not in terms of this particular case. <laughs> I would be surprised if the entire American economy had changed. They were pumping trillions in there to support families against COVID. And they are saying that that is not inflation. I'm saying that there are, there are COVID dynamics. I, I think the 7%. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm glad you're saying that, that COVID-19. Even the IMF, mm. which is run by, literally run by America, mm. is telling us that COVID has impacted the world. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on there.